Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome to your special Butterscotch.com five-part series on how to have dual monitors on your MacBook or MacBook Pro. Now the display on the Mac is beautiful and it's even better when you can have it on two monitors. Now there are a variety of different connectors depending on what year your Mac was made. So we'll show you those. Here's the DVI connector on the side of a MacBook Pro purchased in the spring of 2008 when that was the standard on that model. Later in the fall of 2008, the unibody MacBooks came out and they started having a mini DVI connector. Now if you wanted to connect this to like a VGA monitor, you would use a cable like this. This is a DVI to VGA cable. Any cables mentioned, by the way, are available from the Apple Store. Now in the new unibody MacBook Pros, you have the mini DVI adapter. This is it here. This is a zoom in so that you can see what it looks like. Now if you wanted to connect that to a DVI monitor, you would use this cable, which is a mini DVI to DVI cable. If you wanted to go to a VGA monitor, you could use this mini DVI to VGA cable. And lastly, if you wanted to go out to your TV, you could use this mini DVI to video connector. Once you have your dual monitor set up, you can't, you can't beat it. It simply makes a world of difference to have two monitors. This is my MacBook Pro. It's connected to a 22-inch monitor. See on the left-hand side, I have Firefox open with butterscotch.com. On the right-hand side on the MacBook Pro, I have iTunes. You can move things back and forth. And then on top of that, you have spaces that you can move multiple things back and forth on multiple screens. This is connecting for dual monitors on the MacBook or MacBook Pro. Bear in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all five parts.